welcome back to my bathroom. Today we have a Timu haul dedicated to America's superfood, eggs. I bought every egg item on Timu. We're gonna unbox this junk together. Garbage. Try it out and rate it one through 10. Before we start this super high quality video, do your tithing. Subscribe, click all the buttons. I'm here for you every single Sunday. And also, if you wanna be a redneck hairdresser, check out my other channel, it's linked below. Hair videos every single week. Cheers. We have a simulated sunny side up egg. We're living in a simulation. Also, you may be wondering why we're in the bathroom for this. So am I. A simulation of a sunny side egg. Fake food, prop food. For 350, you can get this. All links are below. Don't worry, this isn't sponsored. I'm too unpredictable for a sponsorship, but I do have affiliate links down there. They're gonna give me five cents if you click on it, so. Clicky dicky. Egg to head ratio, but I don't know. I do have kind of a larger head, right? So, egg to hand ratio. Look at the detail. It looks really realistic, especially now. You can tell it's one of those nice eggs. Oh, by the way, I've got egg facts. I forgot to tell you that. We've got some egg facts. Egg hack number one or egg fact, egg fact number one. You can fact check these if you're that kind of person on facts.net. Imagine that. The word yolk derives, derives, drives, comes from an old English word for yellow. Therefore, it's egg white, egg yellow. So yolk means yellow. A dark yolk. If you're new here, I have hyper fixations. A lot of them, not to brag, but my longest running streak, my longest running hyper fixation has been with eggs. I'll eat six to nine, 69, six to nine eggs a day. Remember that. This is a 10, did I say that? 10 out of 10 for this. Ugh. Wow, looked a lot better on the picture. For $15, you can get this imitation cashmere rug. I would strongly highlight the imitation part. Nice texture. Kind of feels like a hotel towel. Not a Disney hotel towel. Motel towel. Do they even have towels at a motel? The nice anti-slip grip. Wouldn't that be something? <laughs> Wouldn't that be the worst way to die is tripping on a Timu rug? Anyway, you're not gonna do that because it has these very tiny, see that, anti-slip grips that will prevent a lawsuit. Honestly, that looks like garbage. Are you being negative? The rug, well, hell, that's a six. It will do what a rug needs to do. Sumo cup eggs. 3.59, you get two of these. It holds, what? Okay. It holds your egg. That's a big cup. What kind of eggs they have over there? Which brings me to fact number two. In China, the home base of Timu, one person can make around 1,500 fake eggs a day. They have fake eggs. It's made from resin. What in the hell? We're eating resin. Something called cogelantent and starch with a counterfeit shell. Counterfeit, and people eat those. Can't even trust that this is the real deal anymore. Can't even trust the egg. That's like that 3D printed meat. What in the hell is that about? No, listen, you either slaughter the cow or you don't. I don't wanna print my fingernail polish. I sure as hell don't wanna print my beef steak. I don't see anybody from the government eating that. Anyway, I wouldn't trust a printed egg or a man-made egg. I wouldn't trust that. This thing is, maybe it's just the eggs I got. It's just not fitting the egg, so therefore it's a two. Egg earrings. A dollar 19 for these. Wow, we check me out. Matches my shirt. These are great, not too heavy, and the best part is they're double sided. Or maybe they're not double sided, you can just see through it. I don't know, but team, team. <laughs> Apologies, I'm getting over, I'm getting over just kind of living, you know, just being here. Sometimes I'll just get a little congestion. Absorbing all the chemicals of the earth. Timu most of the time does not double print. Is that what I'm trying to say? The print is not on both sides of the earrings. Anyway, God bless the USA. These are great. Let's give these an eight. Eight out of 10. This is home decor. The best part is it came with a nail. It's got lots of different placements for it. Very generous, but I'm just gonna use one of those command strips. Honestly, this is nice. Take a look at the detail. Someone hand painted that with their hands. Egg fact number three, egg fact number three. A six month old chicken, hen, whatever. They're calling it a pullet. What is a pullet? Oh, a young hen. Okay, just say that then. A young hen, we don't have to be fancy. A six month old young hen named Harriet in the UK has held the world record for the largest egg since 2010. Nine inches around and four inches long, which is double the size of a standard extra large egg. Woo! We got a hen taking out of our. That 
is a big egg. That's comparable to a woman having an 11 pound baby and squeezing it out. Sew it back up. That's gotta hurt. Anyway, this is a big egg. This is one of Harriet's eggs. I'd give this a 10. I think the artist did a really nice job. All honesty. Hand to the Lord. For $8, you can grab you a brand new iPhone case. Just put the little egg right there and put your phone in there. Ah, oh, what? <laughs> This one's not for me. I don't know what iPhone this is, but it's not the one that has two big cameras and a little camera. I don't know. As long as it turns on, I don't care about it. Did you see that yogurt company? Company. Sigets Yogurt. Sigets Yogurt Company. That fancy ass yogurt. It may still be going on. I'm not sure. They were paying people $10,000 to give up their cell phone for a month. So they would give them a flip phone with no internet access or social media, whatever. I was applying for that and then I got to that right an essay part. Shit. The dyslexia took over and I gave up. Could have asked Chad. Chat GPT to write that. Is it Chat GPT? Chat GPT. I can't even comprehend artificial intelligence. I have no intelligence. And you're telling me there's gonna be artificial intelligence? The hell? I don't need a friend that bad. You know, this is great. It's very fun. It's not pocket size, but hey, I would carry this with you, ladies. If you're out past 9 p.m., if someone tries to approach you, just like that. No, shoe, shoe. Phone case, weapon, fun, three in one. If you have whatever iPhone this is, I'll put this on my website. You can grab it for a dollar, free shipping. I'll ship that out to you. This is a 10 for the multifunction, 10 out of 10. Egg claw clip, $2 for this. What do you think? Can you see that? Wow, that is nice, 10 out of 10. What is that? This protects your egg, holds your egg. It's a knight, a knight. Oh, that's actually funny. And it's got the spoon. I love a plastic spoon. It does not move up and down. It literally just holds your egg. That is extremely pointless. It's a 10. Egg fact number four from facts.org. Farmers have a grace period of 30 days. Once the chicken, hen, whatever lays the egg, 30 days to get it to the market. The Kroger, the Food Lion, the Wagmans. Wagmans? Walmart Radio. Then the store has 30 days to sell the egg before they throw them out. That's 60 days. Those eggs are just kind of being an egg. But I guess when they put all those pasteurization chemicals, whatever, it makes it all right. But if you think about that, that's kind of gross. If you had a chicken in your yard, you would eat it. It's like in a week or something, right? I don't know, I don't have chickens, I have a squirrel. Here's Henry, the redneck cat. This is a chicken egg lamp. <laughs> it looked a lot larger in the picture, but that is okay. At least it came with the bulb. This is $12. Come over here. Just squint your eyes. Can you see that? Get up there. Well, the cord needs to be longer. It's giving five below vibes. This should be $5, I feel like. It is kinda, what's the word? Is it junky? Trash, I guess. And maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm thinking it looked different in the picture. Timu hasn't gotten the memo, memo, the memo, the memo of that saying. What's that saying? Under promise, over deliver. They over promise, under deliver. It's a three for me. This mug, also from Timu, $6 for this. This is a 10. While we're here, let's get into some tea talk. Today's tea bags of choice, ladies. We got that country peach passion by Celestial Seasonings. Orange peel, rose hips, hawthorn, chamomile, and natural peach flavor. Caffeine free with blackberry leaves, hibiscus, and citric acid. See that? The tea is actually really nice. It reminds me of sun tea, if you've ever, ever made that, where you put a ass ton of sugar in a container, Louisiana bags, and let it sit out in the sun. Let the flies, spiders, all the bugs crawl in it. After about 10 hours, eight hours, seven hours, six or five, you've got sun tea. It's that low and slow flavor, and sometimes you can put peaches in it, raspberries, make raspberry tea. It's got that flavor of peach tea. You know what, damn, no it doesn't. It tastes like crystal light iced peach tea. You ever had that, the powder? That's what it tastes like, but I'm not mad at it because I love peach tea, especially from Sonic. For this one, I'm gonna give it a seven. It's a very summer tea. Back to the eggs. We have a wall clock. It's a beautiful egg with some green, I guess that would be chives, the fork, and the knife. 
takes batteries. I don't know why I'm surprised. How'd you think it was gonna work? Batteries are in the freezer, so we're kind of landlocked in the bathroom. We'll just pretend this is going. I trust Timu that this is gonna work. This will jazz up any room. Up close, it looks cheap. You ever been to one of those at home, not at home, as seen on TV stores that have them in Florida, everywhere on the side of the road? As seen on TV! Come get your alligator meat, your scrub daddies, sugar daddies, and a whole bunch of other shit. There's all kind of gimmicky things in there, like this. You would see that there. The store is fun though. The store is fun. Sometimes they'll have one of those alligator tanks out front where you pet the alligator. I mean, you're not supposed to pet the alligator, but if you want to pet the alligator, you can put your hand in there. It might not come back out, but you can put your hand in there. Anyway, I don't love it, but I don't hate it. I'd give it a seven. This is a snuffle, snuffle mat. IQ puzzle dog toy. $20 for this. It says here, if you snuffle for 10 minutes, that equals one hour of running. We have the eggs and you're supposed to hide dog food in, oh wow, that is a puzzle. Inside here, wrap this back up, Velcro it, put it back in here and do that six times. The doctor likes it and I'm happy for him. But $19 seems like a lot of money for a felt puzzle. But when I was looking on Amazon, that's about how much snuffle mats are. They're really expensive. Just having a damn dog is expensive. Every time I take the dog to the vet, oh, he's got a heart murmur. He needs a tooth extraction. He needs a penile something, 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 other something. He's got a genetic disorder. When's it gonna be good news? Why can't we just say he's doing good? He may not make it for a long time, but he's doing well. He's fine. We don't have to nitpick. If you're looking for something, you're gonna find it. Let's get an egg fact. Howard Helmer, an American chef, holds the, holds the world record, holds the world, holds the world record for being the fastest omelet cooker. He can make 427 omelets in 30 minutes. It doesn't say where he's a chef, but I promise you it's probably the Waffle House. Waffle House workers are underrated. If you can work in an open kitchen with people yelling at you, spatulas flying, flipping and dipping, crackhead surrounding. Oh, the police are here again. No worries. Let me get your covered, smothered, flattened and dried hash browns done. Then you can arrest a crackhead at table nine. It really is a redneck hibachi. You ever seen them flip a spatula? They are some of the hardest working people I've ever seen. And the tolerance level to put up with that. Anyway, hats off to Howard Helmer for realizing that he can make 427 omelets in 30 minutes. Incredible times. Egg soap. Got the yolk in here. It says to use this on your face. I don't trust it. It does have a nice sud factor to it. I mean, I guess I thought it was gonna smell like eggs. It doesn't smell like eggs. It smells worse. This was $3. I think that's a little overpriced. I'd give it a five for hand soap. Oh wait, it comes with a soap thing. You can make soap on a rope, gentlemen. That is cool. More egg holders. That's what it's supposed to look like. Not the sumo wrestler, too big. This is a perfect fit. Three of these for $2, 10 out of 10. For $1.50, you can get this egg slicer. I have been wanting one of these. You put the egg in and whoop, perfect slices. I love that, 20 out of 10. Egg drop earrings. These are $1.11, my favorite number. See, I got it tattooed on there in case I forget. That's my favorite number. These are cool, kinda. Looks like a slug trail. I like the other ones better, but these are still a solid seven. They're not too heavy. Nice resin detail. This is an egg clip. And they also had it on a ponytail. Can you see that? These were a dollar a piece. I knew it. Another hot glued item. Whoever works at the gluing department in Timu, you can't use hot glue. You have to use E4000 glue, the crafting glue for it to stay. They use hot glue for everything, which honestly I do too. If something breaks, I'll hot glue it and just, just stay. And then I'll break again, hot glue it again, break again, hot glue it again. The ponytail is a zero. The clip also hot glued, but it seems like it's gonna stay better. I'd give it a three. These are egg dog toys you get 
You get four for $2. They are really thin and probably too small. Your dog is going to choke on it. One lady in the review section, sex Sean, section, section, said she uses these to replace a squeaker in her dog's favorite toys and sews them back up. So I'm just going to do that. Dr. W's favorite toy is a slot machine, little stuffed animal thing. We both love to gamble. These were $2 and I would just give them a, I would just give them a one. I thought they were going to be a little bit larger than this. This is one of those fidget spinner fidget toys. Do something with your hands. Stress relief. If you're feeling stressed, just grab your sticky egg. This is cool. I mean, I'm not one for fidget toys. Me, if I'm stressed, I just have a meltdown. Little sticky. This will be covered in cat hair in about three seconds. It was a dollar. I'd give it a, oh, see that? I'd give that a seven. Lastly, I couldn't help myself. They had another clock. $5 for this one also needs batteries. Very cheap looking. We're gonna pretend it works. I'm sure it does. Oh, it has the second hand. That is convenient. When you're trying to pass time, just stare at the second hand. It goes a lot faster. There's our egg haul. Haul of eggs from Timu. I think we got through all the egg facts. Oh no, we didn't. The average American consumes 250 eggs a year. I believe it. Oh, this is cool. The world record for eating hard boiled eggs is 65 eggs in six minutes and 40 seconds by a lady named Sonia Thomas in 2003. It says she would have eight more, but they ran out of eggs. We got an egg guzzler. For today's bathroom, words of wisdom, friendly reminder that no one really knows what they're doing. No one knows. We think we know, but we don't know. We're all just kind of pretending that we know what we're doing or we know enough to get by, but none of us really no, we don't know shit about shit. I think I've said this before, but it's one of my favorite things to remind myself when I feel like I'm doing a bad job, which is often, we just gotta remember, nobody really knows. There are some of us that know more than others. Sure, yeah, whatever, cool. But nobody knows it all. Not even brain surgeons, lawyers. Lawyers? <laughs> they know how to BS somebody. That's what they do know how to do. So quit stressing, quit stressing about it. And if you're hard on yourself, just remember that we're all just trying to figure it out. And none of us are gonna figure it out. We're gonna figure it out and guess what? We're also not gonna figure it out. So enjoy the ride. Enjoy the ride that goes like this. You're on a roller coaster and then you're on one of those slingshots. Oh, you're getting ahead, now you're going back. Getting ahead, now you're going back. Happy, now you're sad. Laughing, now you're crying. I don't know about it. We're all a bunch of cells in a meat suit trying to survive on a floating rock. Just relax, just relax, damn. Did that make sense? No. I can't wait to see you next week. Oh, we've got a good one next week. Don't forget to check out my hair channel. We're on hair color right now. So if you want to be an at-home hairdresser in your own redneck salon, your very own bathroom, check that out. It's in the description box below. Also, some of these items will be on my website for a dollar free shipping to circulate the junk. I don't want to overconsume, overconsumption. Don't forget to have a fantastic week. You deserve it. Be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and drive slow. I will see you next time for something cool. Something cool. America superfood. You can have saggy earlobe syndrome. Fact check that. Is this trash? Overconsumption? Because why not? Counterfeit. If the world ends, I'm eating my animals. I'm eating my squirrel Henry. You can do anything. 3 a.m. at the witching hour at the Waffle House. Damn.